Hello, welcome to Maths with J. Now when you're told that an equation has got roots alpha and beta and you want to find an equation whose roots are alpha squared and beta squared, the implication is that you do not find what the actual roots are. So one way of doing this would be to write the equation down in a slightly different way to think, well, if its roots are alpha and beta, we could write the equation as x minus alpha times x minus beta is equal to zero. And then when we multiply it out, we'll have minus alpha times x and minus beta times x. So we could write that part as minus alpha plus beta times x. And then minus alpha times minus beta is plus alpha beta is equal to zero. So that means that comparing this with the given equation, alpha plus beta must be equal to, and I'll be careful of the signs here, it must be equal to minus five and the product alpha beta, looking at the constant term, must be negative seven. And we need to think about what we want. So if we want an equation that's got roots alpha squared and beta squared, what we want to find is alpha squared plus beta squared and the product of alpha squared and beta squared, alpha squared, beta squared. And so alpha squared plus beta squared is going to be alpha plus beta all squared minus two alpha beta, because if we multiply out alpha plus beta by alpha plus beta, we'll get alpha squared plus two alpha beta plus beta squared. So it's just a matter now of substituting in the values that we've already written down. So alpha plus beta is negative five, and then alpha beta is negative seven, so we've got minus two multiplying minus seven. So that gives us 25 plus 14. So we've got 39 for alpha squared plus beta squared. And then working out the product of alpha squared and beta squared in terms of alpha beta, that's alpha beta all squared. And alpha beta is negative seven so that's negative seven squared. And so that's going to be 49. So we can now simply write down the equation that we want. So that's going to be x squared minus alpha squared plus beta squared times x plus alpha squared beta squared equals zero. So now all we do is substitute in the numbers that we've found. So we've got x squared minus 39x plus 49 is equal to zero. So we've got x squared minus 39x plus 49 is equal to zero. So we've done that without needing to know what the actual solutions to the original equation are or to this equation here. But we do know that the roots of this equation are the squares of the roots of the given equation.